I have a question for you all. How would you like to make millions, if not billions, of dollars? It's simple. Let me take you way back. Cornelius Vanderbilt, innovator. I love innovation. That's why I'm in the ad business. But a true innovator. He built the railway. And in that time, way back when, he was worth $150 million dollars. In today's world, it would be billions and billions of dollars. But he had a competitor. Even though he controlled the majority of the railway, he, was a, he had a competitor. But he was fearless. Absolutely fearless. And if you knew anything about Cornelius Vanderbilt, he was one tough dude. So him and Tom Scott, his competitor from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, would go at it. But along comes John D. Rockefeller. Now, John D. Rockefeller was a very poor boy, but he had a vision, just like I'm asking all of you to have. Have a vision. Have an opportunity to see greatness. See what others need and provide for them that need. So what did John D. Rockefeller see? He saw that the world needed to light their homes at night. So he made kerosene, lots and lots of kerosene. And he needed a way to ship that kerosene around the country. And along he went to Vanderbilt. Why? Because Vanderbilt had the means for distribution, the railway. And he distributed through Vanderbilt to the railway, giving Vanderbilt what Vanderbilt thought was an exclusive until he went to Tom Scott behind Vanderbilt's back. And he cut a deal with Tom Scott. Why? Because Tom Scott was going to pay him more money than Vanderbilt. So what happens next? Well, Tom Scott, with his protege, Andrew Carnegie, you heard me, Andrew Carnegie, with Tom Scott's protege, they made a deal with Cornelius Vanderbilt for a flat deal for J.D. Rockefeller. But Rockefeller wanted nothing to do with the deal. So what did he do? He cut them both out. Absolutely cut them out. And he built himself over a four year period a pipeline to distribute his oil throughout the United States. And then he cripples Tom Scott because he shuts down. What does he shut down? He shuts down his oil refinery in Pittsburgh so that Tom Scott had nothing to distribute at all. This is incredible because this gives you the opportunity to see what could be if you to open your mind and then de design for the people what they truly need. We needed distribution. Along comes Vanderbilt. We needed more distribution. Along comes Tom Scott. We needed to have a bridge built. Along comes Andrew Carnegie to build you the first bridge Across, across the Mississippi, and then he opens up all his steel mills. It goes on, it goes on and on and on. These are the great men, and I'm challenging each and every one of you. Challenge yourself. Think about what the country needs today, what you can provide to the country to have absolute greatness. This is my blog, but it's your voice, and I want to hear from you.